Hello Coombe Dean, Mrs Linton here. This week is challenge week. We can't have sports day this year, so we're bringing the virtual challenges to you and your back garden. Have a go with the challenges that we set on class charts. Do as many as you can and make sure you upload them by Thursday to, make, to get class charts points and points for your colour house and your tutor group. Also, during Microsoft Teams, check that your tutors got involved as well, because their entry will also count. So, sweatbands on, get yourselves ready, let's go. Every activity is 60 seconds long. Here's a rundown of what you need to do for each. First up, air balloon. For this one, if you haven't got a, a balloon, don't worry. You can all use a bag like I have, or some tissue paper. Keep it up as much as you can, any drops will be recorded. Next one, round the world. You'll need a ball for this or something else. As many times round, every time it hits your belly button, that's another point. Another one is figure of eight. For this one, you can either go squatting, every time it gets back to the middle after a figure of eight is one, or you might want to change your legs. Every two legs is one. If you don't have a ball, don't worry. What you can use instead is a loo roll. Same job, or you could use a teddy. Thanks, Olaf. For burpees, straight back and all the way up is one. For speed bounce, you can use a pillow or a cushion or something else that's safe. Two feet to two feet. One, two. Next, for skipping, if you've got a rope, make sure it's untangled. Must be two feet or when both feet, oh, when both feet touch over. If you haven't got a rope, don't worry. You can either just bounce on the spot and count, or you can use a dressing gown rope, just be careful how you do it. For star jumps, make sure you clap and go in each time, or you can do jumping jacks if it's easier. For catch and throw, the ball must go above your head each time. The tap tennis, how many you can do on the racket in 60 seconds. If you drop it, don't worry, pick it up, carry on with your score. If you don't have the equipment, don't worry. You can always use a pair of socks for your catch and throw and a pan for your tap up tennis. The final core challenge is step ups. Make sure you go both feet up and both feet down and that'll be one, no jumping. If you haven't got a step, use some steps outside or you can use your steps. Now I'm going to tell you about the more advanced, uh, extra, additional activities. The first one will be sit-ups. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent. When your elbows go to your knees, that's one. Remember, 60 seconds. For press-ups, hands over your shoulders, all the way down and back up. Keep your back straight. You can go on your knees if you prefer. Next one, Mr. Weymouth's favourite. Keepy-ups for the football. How many keepy ups you can do in a minute? If the ball drops, don't worry, just carry on with the number you were up. Your final challenge is the step challenge. Pick your best day throughout the week and upload how many steps you've done in one single day. Those are all your activities, Coombe Dean. Remember to upload your scorecard by Thursday to make sure your result counts because on Friday I'll be announcing the winners. Some of your teachers have also been recording their scores, see if you can beat them as an extra challenge. Remember, if you upload any pictures or videos, you'll get extra points for your house or your tutor group. So, I look forward to seeing your scores, where the best tutor group and colour win.